Hey guys, welcome to Sunday Problem Solving Challenge. Weekly one question for your competitive exam preparation. I believe you have seen this kind of question in your school days. You would have solved these problems in your 9th standard or 10th standard. So this topic is related to mensuration. Let's see how many of you could solve this problem by your own and put answers in comment section. If you don't know how to solve, I will show you how to solve it in less than two minutes. So it's very, very simple. Find the area of shaded region if the radius of each of the circles is HCF of two prime numbers X and Y. It looks little perplexed, right? So it is confusing you. But it is very simple. You want to find area of that shaded region. So you could see a picture on right hand side. You want to find area of that shaded region, that black color part. And it is given radius of each circle is HCF of two prime numbers X and Y. So if you take the two prime numbers X and Y, what is HCF of the prime numbers? We obviously know HCF of two prime numbers is one. For example, uh, I will show you uh, a simple relationship between composite numbers and prime numbers. So let's take two and four. So what is relationship between two and four? Both the numbers are divisible by two. So two is HCF between two and four. But if you take prime numbers one and three, what is relationship between one and three? Do you have something common between one and three? No. So what is HCF of these two prime numbers? it is 1. So always the HCF of two prime numbers is 1 only. So even you can take this number 7 and 11. So these two numbers are prime numbers. Now what is relationship between them? So both the numbers don't have any factors, common factors between them. So that means HCF of these two numbers is 1. So HCF of two prime numbers is always 1. Now again retake this question. Find the area of shaded region if radius of each of the circles is 1 centimeter. Now, what is radius of each circle? One centimeter. So from center of the circle to circumference of the circle, we call it as a radius. So it is one centimeter and here it is one centimeter and this 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 is one centimeter. Now you could see a triangle, right? So inverted triangle touching the center of each circle. So we can say it is an equilateral triangle, right? Because all the sides are equal, right? So we can call it as an equilateral triangle. Now you want to find area of the shaded region. So this black part, right? So that black color shaded region you want to find. Now before that, if you take uh, sum of the interior angle, right? So sum of inner angle of a triangle, it is always 180 degree. You can take any triangle, isosceles triangle or an equilateral triangle, anything, right? So sum of the inner triangle is always 180 degrees. Now this is an equilateral triangle. In equilateral triangle, you have all angles equal. So it is 180 by 3. So it is 60 degree, right? So this is 60 degree and this angle is 60 degree and this angle is 60 degree because it is an equilateral triangle. Now we can find area of this region, right? So area of this region. So area of this region is called what? It's very simple. It is called a sector of a circle. So you can easily find area of the circle. So what is the formula? It is pi r square pi r square is area of a circle. Now you want to find the sector and you know this is 60 degree and you want to find angle of only the 60 degree. So out of 360 degree you want to find only 60 degree of this area. So 60 divided by 360 degree into pi r square. Why 60 degree divided by 360 degree? Because uh, the complete angle of a circle is 360. So 360 degrees is nothing but the complete area of the circle that is pi r square. Out of that, you want to find only 60 degree. So it is 60 degree by 360 degree into pi r square. This is nothing but area of the sector. So in simple, we can say area of the sector formula is theta divided by 360 degree into pi r square. So this is the area of the sector. So for an explanation, I'm giving you it is 60 degree. So which is area of that particular uh, circle, I mean sector of that particular circle. So it is 60 degree divided by 360 degree into pi r square. Now, if you solve this, what you will get? And you know, radius of the circle is nothing but one centimeter. So if you cancel this, you get one by six. So one by six pi r square. So one by six pi r square value is nothing but one because radius is one, one square is one. So it is one by six pi. Like this sector, you totally have three sectors, right? So it's second sector. So this is also 60 degree. And this one is also 60 degree. So you have the same area for three times. So it is one by six pi into three. So if you cancel this, you get what? It is pi by two. Now pi by two is area of the three sectors, but you actually don't want it, right? 
So you want only the black shader region. So what you can do, so outer part, I have a uh, equal triangle, right? So this is an equal triangle. In that equal triangle, I have the three sectors, which I don't want. So if I subtract it, I will be getting that uh, black shaded region, right? So what is the area of the equal triangle? So it is root three by four A square. Root three by four A square is area of the equal triangle. So area of the equal triangle is root three by four A square. What is that A square? A square is nothing but side of the equal triangle. What is side of the equal triangle? So radius is one centimeter. So the total side is how much? It is two centimeter, right? So area, I mean, side of each, uh, I mean, side of uh, the equal triangle is two centimeter. Now, instead of that A, if you put two, how much you get? Root three by four, A square is two square, you get four. So if you cancel this, you get root three. Now, what is root three? Root three is nothing but area of the equal triangle. Now, in the, in the root three, you want to subtract minus pi by 2. You want to subtract pi by 2 because that pi by 2 is nothing but the three sectors that is the area which you don't want. So root 3 minus pi by 2 is nothing but what? That black seeded region. So answer for this question is option C. And people, if you see this kind of questions, they are really common in competitive exams, right? So we can't ignore any topic. So every week we are going to learn something new. So if you feel it helpful, give a like. And if you feel it is going to helpful for someone, please share it to them. So stay connected. Have a happy Sunday.